There's the first one Ryan's taken off, and they, these been on for three years, Roy. And these, that's the last, that's porcelain product, and that was stuck on with uh, Mapa. Mapa. Yeah, set. the rapid set. Yeah, yeah. So go on then, Roy. And I did spot lay them, but it's on the wall, and it's not meant to be like. Yeah. I, I only just done it as a look, look at that. That's solid, isn't it? Yeah, but it was yeah. never coming off. Like. Yeah. And you think, look, look at that, how that works. Can you imagine yeah. if that was on the floor? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right, just very basically, what what we what did I I I this is a, to prove something would work. Look yeah, so I th I thought this was the uh the map eye again. And uh it's actually just silicon. Yeah. Five five daubs of silicon that held uh, this on. And that took a job to get off, didn't it? Well it was harder than the map eye. <laughs> there you are. Where'd you copy? Where'd I set it? Yeah. Was that your one, man? No, that's yours. That's mine, so that's yours. Right, there we go. Is that yours, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He's filming us now. Oh, right. <laughs> no, we were just discussing about, we were talking about, like, on the wall and what makes interesting content, isn't it? Like, you know, and you were talking about, who's the guy, Mastrella? Matt, Estre I think Matt I'm pronouncing his uh, surname properly, Matt Estella, or Estella, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I've only recently got into him, so he, he's like a furniture maker. He's quite young too, but he, he's really good, you know, and draws you in. And yeah, being young, mind, is, is, that's a good thing, isn't it? Like, Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Just imagine what he feels like that now, what's he going to be like in the future? Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. and he's just, you know, and he, he's very, um, what would you say, like, very thorough and precise with everything he's doing. You and, know? and what's available for him now is YouTube, isn't it? Yeah. That he's operating on YouTube. Just to let um, our viewers know, if it's a little bit dark in it, I don't apologise for that because we've got no power on really, only the one light. Um, so I'm not going to make any apologies for that. But I've been listening to Ryan and I, we've just got rid of those. <laughs> Shit really, isn't it? Yeah. You know, we had the old drills, the old Yeah, yeah. And but why why did I throw them away, right? Because you're a hoarder. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not a bad hoarder though, am I? I'm not talking about... Nah, you're not a bad hoarder, but still a hoarder. Would you say I made the transition now? <laughs> well, we'll see. Hold on. <laughs> not that way though. <laughs> no, do you... well, well, we'll see if anything gets pulled out of the skip later. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I didn't have no problems with throwing any of that stuff away. We had the, I had the old Vont box yeah. there, and when we opened it, there was, it was full with yeah. old chalk lines. To be honest, I think you've got that much, John, that, um, you know, you have to start getting rid of it some way or another, you know, because... Uh, you're not using it, are you? No. If no. you haven't, I look at some of them, you haven't used it in, you know, years, and that Vaughn box probably hasn't been open in years. And that Vaughn box is not like a photo album where you go underneath the stairs and get, get a photo album out and look at photos. Nah, we're not going to do nothing with it, are we? Nah, it's all, yeah. all crappy stuff, isn't it? Look, we're, look we're, let's just explain. We're in the garage. This is what I call the undisclosed location. It was for a bit of fun, right? People used to say to me, you know, John, it's your garage. I know it's the garage. I know it is. It's, it's a joke. But we're going to still call it the undisclosed location, okay? So we start putting the ceiling up. I <laughs> dropped the one board, the, the, the 8 by 4 sheet on my head the other day and broke it in half. So as a result of that, we're going to have to skim the ceiling. But that's fine. But we had the shelves here. We had the vent shelves. Yeah. We wasn't doing things in the right way, were we? Or no. I wasn't. No, I, th I, th I think we just need to get everything out, set it up right, and then yeah. just take our time and put it all back together yeah absolutely yeah. um so we're going through we have taken those old slabs i had the old slab stuck on the wall and i had different products that i'd stuck it with with map eye and i had some silicon which worked well you know and it did hold it on there like but it was just for a temporary thing just so i can have some aesthetics in here so we're going to clear that wall out that wall over there right is going to be for ruby yeah and they've just have you entered the, the, the competition yet? I have, yeah. You have, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, of course I have. Yeah, so Ruby's going to do a giveaway on the, the DCX, I think it's called, the Expert. Yeah. Kraken Saw, isn't it? Like, you oh, know, yeah, yeah. So you've entered that. Yeah. yeah. I think they've had a quite of... Uh, such a shame, really, isn't it, when you think that they're giving it away free and not, they're over the moon. I think they've got about 300 mm. people that have entered it now. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah, that, right. bad for me, but good for them, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, but somebody's got to win. Do It's an amazing mm. thing. We did one before, and the guy that actually won it, never ever 
never ever never heard any more of him. Oh. Like you know, and he's on the landscaping group that I run. Um, look, we we're going to keep this shelf over here because you quite like this shelf over here, didn't you? And the workbench. That's yeah, well, I think you know at the end of the day it's a garage, and I think we all. Uh, if anybody's like me, it's like a happy place, and I've been in the garage, so yeah, yeah, it is. You should still, you know, you're gonna have your vaunt, your ruby, but essentially you're still gonna want your where you're gonna do things. It's yeah, a proper workbench, and, yeah. and that's what we, we so we'll, we'll call it the the workbench. But what what we want to do right here to really showcase products off and to make it look nice. We need to really make it look like a studio, like a workshop, uh, an area where we can do some uh, podcasting. Um, we, look, if we see any more crap, we're just going to get rid of it. But we've got to put the other board up and then, I'm going to say it, but we're going to put an action here, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, and we're going to have some sur surprises coming from that action, aren't we? <laughs> hey, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a bit like Top Gear where he comes out like with the glasses on yeah, in yeah, the yeah. professor outfit, like, you know. Yeah. So um, look, we're, we're just trying to share everything what we're doing with you guys out there and uh, showing you the, the progress, the, the nuts and bolts of all of it and what's going on, where we're at now. If you just want to walk around, Ryan, you can just have a look at this wall here. This is where it first started on that wall there. I used to have uh, a partition here and I used to film down here, but obviously this is going to be a lot bigger now. And obviously it's got the, the social media branding stuff on there, but um, we're going to make this look the bee's knees, aren't we? We're going to invest into this. Not just with blood, sweat, and tears, right? We're going to invest some money, and you know, yeah. and hopefully that money then will help to um, help people out there, you know. Because once we've got that studio set up, and maybe we'll have a little couch here, we can have a coffee, we can talk about things, we can have guests in here, right? Um, and if anybody has got any products that they want to talk about, that we can we can do it from here, can't we? The undisclosed location. Yeah, well, definitely. It's always a help if you review something and say it's actually crap or if it's good yeah. before someone forks out a couple of hundred quid in it. Yeah, absolutely. The thing is about me, Roy, it's like men don't read, do they? A lot. A lot of men don't read. They don't read. They When you get that box and it arrives for the first time, and we've all done it in the past, we just open the box and we just want to get to the tool, don't we? Yeah, well, I'll be honest, I've never read an instruction manual for anything. Never? Never. Yeah. I just figure it out. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> but it's like going to Ikea with all the flat back. You can guarantee that, you know, you go through all the screws, you start identifying, you want to be thorough and concise in, in how your approach is to it. And I'll be honest with you, I did the videos years ago simply because I wanted to show people what I was doing and to get people to see what I was about as a person. Yeah. You know, because... When you employ or commission a contractor to do some work for you, ultimately you're inviting them into your own, aren't you? And you've got to be... Yeah. You wouldn't want to invite somebody into your own that you wouldn't trust, would you? <laughs> no. You wouldn't, would you? But, no. but it, it happens, doesn't it? Yeah. And sometimes these people are forced to allow people into their own. And you know, in some cases, there are some contractors that have to go in, and contractors are generally trustworthy, right? And we have to say that, don't we? Because they're, they're attracted to an industry where... They are going to work in people's homes, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, it's like everything. The vast majority are trustworthy, genuine people. It's yeah. just like a small minority, isn't it, that always give people the bad name? Yeah, and it's, it's just not fair at all, is it? No. Like, you know, and, uh, so, you know, we, we can talk about that sort of stuff uh, again in the future. We can talk to, to about that till we're blue in the face. Uh, but I really feel that I think it's something that has to be touched upon. All right, People have to think about when they're commissioning people to do some work. You want somebody who's going to... Somebody have to tell you, don't you? you know? yeah. They've got to tick... They're going to tick all the boxes, are they? Well, nobody will. There's yeah. always going to be something, but, you know... I was Listen, I know I'm doing the talk here, but I'm going to ask you a question now. I used to have a little... In my... Years ago, I used to take what was called my brag pad. My brag pad was my photo album, all the work, and I used to take my letters of references, right? Yeah. But also in there, my letters of references, people could read them. I had like 10 tips when choosing a contractor. Okay? Yeah. 10 yeah. tips when choosing a contractor. And I, it was a cutting out the Daily Mirror. Um, what would you say would be on your number one as? Well, for me, uh, it's first impressions, and the first impression you find is someone's appearance, always. So that's that's like the number one. For yeah, me. and you go with that from from a, a military thing, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Look, we've just had uh, um, a visitor to the undisclosed location. We're gonna have to leave it there, right? Can we revisit this? Yeah, definitely. Should be yeah. continued. I've got the camera now. Right. Uh, listen, uh, that was Alison. She's gone now. We just touched upon about for you ten tips when choosing a contractor. Yeah. Is appearance not just personal appearance, but appearance 
as a whole is that what you're as saying as a whole yeah i mean obviously like like i said I, i'm just going off from my my military side of things that's that's what we're big on i want to you know i don't don't want someone in a pair of trackies and trainers can we just say that you were in the military for how long a long years. time yeah, yeah a long time so yeah. you, you did your bit and you know it was about pride passion and uh that military ethos isn't it like yeah. and it's so important that standards are met i suppose isn't it yeah definitely and um you know straight away when I, if i look at somebody and i think you know they, they, they look the part i'm gonna think they're the part you know and i'm not going to ask questions but someone's coming in and they you know they, they've got holes in their i'm not talking about holes in just work pants i know they're work pants but if they're bad and they're properly ripped and they're wearing tracksuit bottoms and they're they're in a pair of trainers i'm gonna be like me personally you know and that you're entitled to your opinion aren't you yeah, yeah. and yeah. you know i know there's a lot of contractors out there i go well, i do it I, you know i don't care but that's just me Personally, Personally yeah, yeah. That's, and I you're allowed your them. preference, and, yeah. and other people allow their preference. I knew a guy years ago called Billy Lloyd. He was a lorry driver, right? And every time when he went out, he always had um, a nice tie on, a nice shirt, yeah. right? But Billy Lloyd always used to say, "You can tell a person by his shoes," right? And Billy Lloyd's shoes were really polished up, like, yeah. and just like the military, you pull your boots up. And yeah, you, you yeah. know, it's like that. I expect them to be dirty, but still clean. If you get me, you know yeah. what I mean. If your CO seen you coming back and you were in your fatigues and he's seen you nice and clean and you've been out on exercise or even operation, right, he wouldn't be very happy if you were clean, would he? No, because I'm not doing the job, am I? <laughs> no, exactly. So the point that you were making is that there's times as well. Yeah, to, you look. know, it's just, yeah. Just having the right gear, being dressed correctly for me. Um, yeah. And, uh, looking the part yeah looking the part ready mm. for ready for the day and that, that that's what i look for every single time it's about somebody taking pride in themselves they not necessarily if you're going to go out and give them a price for a brick wall or a uh, to render a wall or doing a patio that you've got to go out in a, in a shirt and tie but do you know for me right I, when i finished work and i was going price those jobs years ago the way we used to do it before all this social media come you know we, we can do zoom meets now and because of covid and everything but I'd always like to go, and I did go on price jobs when I go straight from work. But I never felt right, right? Yeah, no, I'm the same. And I like, I, yeah. like in my other business, you know, when we when we went through uh, meetings and things, maybe not like a tie, but it was always collared shirt, you know, uh, maybe a nice pair of chinos, or even even if it was casual jeans. But it was all you you were always you know, shaved, looking presentable. It's important, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we could call this the the uh, like shed talk, can we? Undisclosed lo location talk on a wet day, isn't it? So yeah, we're gonna have to end this because we've got to get on with something. Thanks for that, awesome. and we'll we'll revisit this again. <laughs> no worries.